This is week three of me actually using this product every single morning. It's pretty much now has become a routine in my makeup application. By now I can pretty much give you a good overview of really how I like this product. Now I did pick this product, the Eye Balm, from my Octoli store. All my Lancome products were available for me to pick and I wanted to try them and test them out to review. So this was sent to me complimentary. I have mentioned as always on this channel, it doesn't matter if something's given to me for free or I buy it, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to give you my overall thoughts and my overall opinion. Quick look at the packaging. Same teal blue color. That's the Visionaire line. And this comes in an actual pump applicator, which I love. I love anything that's in a pump or a tube. Keep it sanitary. Keep it very easy to use. The puffiness, crow's feet, fine lines, fatigue. Those are all the main claims that this product, the Visionaire line and the eye balm is trying to help tackle with the everyday consumers, you know, issues around their eye area. And those tend to be the most common concern. Now, in reference to my own personal eye concerns, I have minor dark circles. I don't have crow's feet, like deep set crow's feet, uh, fatigue, that can vary depending on sleep. In regards to puffiness, I have never had puffy eyes ever in my entire life. I know. Don't you just wanna just throw a brick at me? Like what? Never ever have had puffy eyes. So I can't vouch on if this product can tackle that, but I can vouch for everything else. I recommend you use this in the mornings, not in the PM, so in the evenings, do your everyday PM skincare routine. In the morning, I recommend to still do your everyday morning routine, and that's what I do. So every morning when I sit down to do my makeup, the first thing I do is I reach for this because I'm actually gonna put it underneath my eyes, and I just like to let it sit there and kind of absorb into my skin before I do anything else. I didn't start letting it just kind of sitting there and cooking underneath my eye area, probably until I would say the later part of the first week. And I noticed a difference immediately in just how my concealer, how my makeup, my under eye area looked versus just when I first started to use the product like day one, day two, I pumped it out, put it on my eyes, and boom, started with my complexion makeup. I think that maybe just the body heat of my own body, letting it just sink underneath the eye area, really helps further smooth out this area. Cause that's the whole idea, right? You just want this to be all smooth. You don't want your concealer to crease. You want everything to look really great underneath your eye. When you first take the cap off and first instinct with this pump applicator will be to probably press down a little bit hard. That was my first mistake. A lot of product comes shooting out. I mean, it's not you know shooting out, but a lot of product comes out and you don't need a lot for your underneath your eye area. So this container, and this is 0.5 ounces, this should last a year if not a little bit longer, because I'm, I'm talking you do not need a lot. Just a tiny bit is necessary. Pinky, 
finger, go like this, and then dab underneath your eyes. That's what I've done. Concealer doesn't really crease on me, so I don't necessarily have an issue with that. But the main thing that I've noticed when I look in the mirror, because I mean, I look up close in the magnifying mirror is it's very smooth and I don't see any creasing. I have a big disadvantage with this product. Now it is, it's a disadvantage that I feel that it, it's going to have to be later down the road in which it's going to be a decision on whether or not I even want to purchase this item. Like after I finish this, is this something that I would purchase? There is glitter particles in this product. I can see it clearly underneath my eye area. So they are particles that are, you know, pretty fairly close together to the point where I'm like, my first statement to whoever helped create this item is, why didn't, or why don't you just add in perhaps another ingredient, another skincare ingredient into the balm to help fight fatigue, like caffeine or whatnot, to help kind of, you know, give that awake appearance. Why put a makeup product inside to kind of help, you know, make my eyes look awake, make me look less tired. I would rather have a skincare product than glitter. The glitter particles is more prominent on my skin tone because I am darker. Who knows? If you have fair skin, pale skin, um, if you use this product, I would love to know if you see gold sparkle underneath your eyes. This is just gonna be something that I'm going to have to make a decision on. Is this something that I want to continue to use in the future after I'm done with this, meaning go purchase another one? Is that glitter gonna be really just like mm, a deal breaker? So that's it. That's all I have for you today. Just something quick on uh, Langhoom's Visionaire Eye Correcting Balm. I do wanna thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope that this video has been helpful for you if this is something that you are thinking about picking up yourself and using. Next Langhoom video is the correctors. So I have all five of the correctors. That will be video two and that will be coming up. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.